Dr. Anushka Reddy is internationally recognized as a leader in the field of aesthetic medicine, but she has also helped thousands of women to face the world with confidence and helping them to be the best version of themselves that they can be. Karusha visited Anushka at her practice recently to get an update on her career and the latest developments in aesthetic medicine and anti-aging. Dr. Anushka Reddy has been practicing medicine for some two decades with more than three quarters of that time focused on cosmetic dermatology. The aesthetic medical market is entering an exciting new period where innovation has the ability to benefit patients as well as practitioners, whilst growing the industry to brand new levels. Dr. Anushka Reddy is no stranger to Mela and she's just come back from a medical conference in Monaco and I can't wait to hear more. Dr. Reddy. Hi, Kanusha. Such a pleasure to meet you. Such a pleasure to meet you. Welcome back to Mela. Always a pleasure being on the show. We are so proud of you. You've just come back from Monaco, constantly educating yourself. Tell us about that. Monte Carlo is always an amazing experience. I've been attending the Congress for the last 10 years and there's always new developments. But this year was a special occasion because I had the honor of inviting 10 of my colleagues and five of them presented on this international stage, sharing our expertise about how we treat faces in South Africa with international audience. So we were very excited and I chaired the session and also in the process learned so much. And as accomplished as you are, you are constantly wanting to better yourself. How important do you think it is for people to do that in the medical profession? It is so important to upskill yourself because things are changing all the time. The way we practice aesthetic medicine 10 years ago is completely different. Before we had this more is more type of mentality, now we know that less is more. So we want little treatments of the face and the whole idea is just to create a very natural looking face. It's always about having something done without anyone knowing that you've had something done. I know one of the fundamental practices in medicine is the ethical practice of it. Can you explain that further? Now, I must tell you to be ethical in aesthetic medicine is critical. We are very different from your standard medical practitioner in that we don't really offer an essential service. It's not sick people that come to see us. So these are people with disposable income and therefore it is very easy to convince patients to have things done when they don't necessarily need to have them done. So for me it's very important to offer patients what's best for them and not necessarily just do it for the money because it's very easy to get carried away in in that direction. So does part of ethical behavior dictate that you have to have a conversation with your client about the science rather than the hundred procedures that they may want? I'm saying no so often these days simply because I always strive to achieve a natural look and I don't want patients to be dictating to me what it is that they want to have done. I always respect their wishes obviously because they are spending the money but I always try and steer them in a direction that I know will benefit they look. So come join me, let me show you. I'd love to. Let's Follow go. me. Hi. So today I'm going to be doing one of my favorite procedures on this beautiful patient, Karen. So let's get into it. Absolutely. I'm going to be using one of these devices. I call it the beauty meter and it just allows me to measure different proportions and ratios on the face. And the idea is to get a symmetrical face. We all want that. So let's start. I always start with the distance between the inner eyes. That part of the face actually does not age. It remains pretty fixed during the life process. And then from that, I would measure, for example, the height of her eyebrow. It's perfect, it's exactly where it should be, which is remarkable. The second thing I want to measure is her nose. Now, ideally, we want the tip of the nose to be slightly longer. There's a millimeter difference. And that, in combination with addressing these eye hollows, would just give her a refreshed appearance. your eyes. So I'm going to start off with your eyes. Karen, I want you to hold this. This is going to distract you from any discomfort you may feel. So the idea is just to fill up this groove that's giving you this tired appearance. The product I'm using stimulates collagen, so your best results you will see in six weeks. So Karusha, 
the most difficult procedure, fillers, it's done. And this is a muscle relaxing injection. So the areas I will treat are these forehead lines. So that expression she won't have in two weeks time. And smile, crow's feet. So these are the three areas that will benefit the most from these muscle relaxing injections. I want you to frown, cross face. When injecting muscle relaxing injections, it's very important to assess the face fully. So you need to get the patient to animate. And when I looked at her closely for the first time, I noticed that her one eyebrow is slightly lower than the other. And I need to be cautious when I inject Botox into the muscle that overlies that particular eyebrow. And this brow is a little bit lower than the other brow. So injecting too much of muscle relaxing injections on this side will actually worsen the lowering of that brow. So it's always important to understand the musculature and anatomy of the face when doing these injections. Doc, do you find that more and more young women are wanting these procedures? I'm noticing a huge shift in my practice. In fact, in the last five years, I'm seeing more millennials come through. And it's all about prevention. So people in their early 20s are having wrinkle relaxing injections to prevent them from getting that nasty frown that their mother has. Ta-da! Are you ready for the big reveal? I'm ready, Dr. Ready. <laughs> there we go. Oh, wow, it's amazing. It's a total lift. I can see the dark rings, they're gone. My cheekbones, and even my lips on the sides, that was a bit droopy. It's all gone. And can you see this lift? We've restored what you call the OG curve. Yes. It was actually flat. Now it's just a gentle S-shaped curve. Beauty of this is that nobody will notice that you've had anything done. Karen, I'm going to hand you over to my assistants. They will explain the post-care instructions and we will see you in six weeks. Definitely. Good. Karusha, let's continue our discussion outside. Sure, let's go. Anushka, how important is it for people to realize that these procedures need to be done by a medical professional? I feel that social media has been such an important influence in our industry recently. I think that people look at celebrities posting pictures of having their lips done and they think that it's very easy to have these things done and they go to Joe Soap down the road. But these procedures are fraught with complications. We can see prices people pay by going to inexperienced doctors. We always say that uh, good Botox is never cheap and cheap Botox is never good. So be very careful about the type of doctor you go to. You are the epitome of a strong, successful woman. What is your message for South African women? I think women always undervalue themselves. I feel women are very time challenged and we are expected to wear so many different hats all at the same time. For me, it's just a juggling act and it's getting that balance right. So as much as I love my job, I actually love my family more and I feel that having children, it's so important because it's easy to get caught up in your work but it's definitely more important to spend time with your children so I think my message to working women is that devote more time to your family and less time to your work. Anushka what's next for you? For me it's onwards and upwards Karusha for the next 50 years at least I have so much to offer my patients I have so much of knowledge to share with my colleagues. Anushka I can't thank you enough for spending time with me today it's been such a privilege to get a little insight into your day. Awesome thank you so much. Yeah.